Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Cross Country Flight. And before we start, I've got to give an important announcement. So, I have found out that you guys have not been enjoying my videos. And I'm not being a sore loser when I say that. I'm just telling you that there is something, is there something, I just, I just want you guys to do me a favor. I want you um, to go into the comments and under this video, comment on what you think I should improve on the videos. Um, and we'll see what the majority says. If the majority says this, I'll fix this. If the majority says that, I'll fix that. And I really would like to know. So that's all I want to say right away. that I want you to comment below on what you want me to improve with the videos. But now it's time to get on with the flight. So... August 14th, 2023. At 16... 12... 36, August 2023. Today, we will be flying from Lebanon, Pennsylvania to Fairfax, Virginia. So let's put in Virginia. Do they put down Fairfax? There's Appomattox. <laughs> Fairfax. No, they don't, but... Do they put in Centerville? Or whatever you call it? They do, not, they do not put Centerville. Oh, there it is. I was looking here, but it's... E, I don't remember that. Yes, so we'll just fly to Centerville. It's neighboring to, what do you call it? Fairfax. No, not instrument flight! Uh, create... Visual flight. Horsed to Centerville. Uh, time for the weather now. Clear weather, advanced weather. Speed, five knots, turbulence, light. But yeah, just go on ahead and comment on what you think I need to improve with my video. I'll check the comments on Wednesday or Thursday. Probably Thursday, because that's when I record. Temperature, we'll do 78. And for DC, that's a hard one. Temperature for DC is a hard one. Let's do 79. Perfect. Let's fly. You know, I'm not telling you guys to comment because... Because I don't want complainers. I just want to do it for the sake of you guys. And so that... Videos. Because remember what I said about... What do you call it? Um, remember what I said about... Making videos. Making videos for no for no one to watch them is like is like decorating for a holiday that no one's gonna come to. So, just telling you guys, don't be afraid to comment below. I'm just checking out what cities are gonna pass through. We're gonna pass through Harrisburg, 
Frederick. And we're going to pass through Arlington. Right? I don't know. We're not going to pass through Arlington. We're going to pass over the Potomac. And then we're going to be taking, following um, US 15. We're going to follow US 15 to Interstate 270. And then we're going to take it west, go west on Interstate 66 to Centreville Airfield. Which is um, ICAO Victor Alpha 16. Victor Alpha being Virginia. Let's see, so let's see which way we're facing when we arrive when we get to the airfield. So if you forgot, this was where we left off. Remember, we accidentally nosedived in. Don't know why. And I'm horrible at landing. Oh, and by the way, just for a warning, we're going to be headed into D.C., so there might be some lagging, but we're going to be traveling on the outskirts, so I'm not too, too worried, but I think it happened anyhow. So, this is our time. It's getting close to night. It's getting close to night. When we get to, uh, I don't know, Atlanta, we're going to take the... But time's a-wasting, we need to get on all our lights, so we're going to turn on landing lights, because it doesn't really matter. Navigation, strobe, because we're on a runway. We don't need pitot heat, considering the fact that it's 77 degrees out right now. Um, I'm not going to put on any uh, flaps, even though in real life you would just put some flaps on. Uh, we, are tra we are going east, which is pretty inconvenient, because we need to go traveling west. We're going to follow the flight plan until we get... We're just going to follow the flight path until we get to the, uh... Oh, shoot, they don't show the river here. Never mind, we're just going to travel westbound on the, uh... We're not going to travel... Actually, we're not going to travel westbound. What? Microsoft Flight Simulator has stopped working. This is just awesome. But before that, let's just mark the time. And we can just continue. Alright, now you probably see the entire screen squeezed in right now, but... Uh, wait, what happened? I hope you guys hear me and see me. Well, you can't see me. <laughs> I'm used to a I'm used to a YouTuber saying see, but obviously you can't see me because I don't put up the webcam. And I'm probably never going to put up the webcam. Because there's no reason for you to vis visibly see me clearly. There's no reason. I do just fine anonymously. This is horrible, because now we have to set up everything. We gotta set up the time. It always resets to the local time. It doesn't ever reset to, uh... I'm nearly a wizard at this, because I've done it, like, 5,000 times already, not literally. Come on. There's Appomattox again. <laughs> they replaced Appomattox with Sweet Home Alabama, but I don't know what happened with that. Oh, what am I looking for again? I completely forgot what I was looking for. Centreville. Visual flight, direct. Cruising altitude is only seven. It's only seven. Cruising altitude is only 700, lol. Uh. I know it already exists. But it was supposed to be sweet on mathematics, I hear from people, but I don't know what happened. It's just a little weird how that worked.
this is all like natural to me. First of all, I did some of it already. Hopefully the game won't crash on us this time. I just hope that I know where to go, because remember, we're already, um... We're already close to 200 miles from where I live. And by, and by the time we get to DC, we'll be f nearly 400. And why is that a big difference? Because the distance west to east will is like going to morph between north and south during the entire journey. Because remember, I live in Connecticut, and we're pretty far west, southwest, from Connecticut. So, that's what's going to change. And we're only following interstates because... I like trucking and fly. I, I like trucking and driving simulation better than flight sim. I still enjoy flight sim, but if I had to pick my favorite between the two, then yeah. Also, just so that we don't get lost. Even though obviously you get more lost trying to locate roads than if you're like you have to travel it exactly. 317 degrees west, and you're done. So, now, time to do everything we just did. So, every all the lights on. Landing, taxi, nap, stroll. Everything's on? Okay. Not that. I told you about that. Let's review the... Now we don't need to review the knee board. I think we're all set. I'm gonna put on full power on this takeoff. And off we go toward D.C., toward the toward the suburb of Fairfax, Virginia. It's weird. We were. Uh, it looks like this is gonna be whole runway. We're using the whole runway for this takeoff. There's no other way out of it. And we're up. At, and now, all of our fears are up in the air. Do you get it? <laughs> Now, I completely forgot which direction it is. Now, we need to get a decent... We need to get a decent altitude above the trees, so even though I am stalling, we're stalling for a good reason. I need to get above the trees. I don't want to be too close to the trees today. Then we need to make a complete circuit. Alright, I think we're high enough above the trees by now. Uh, let's lower the... Uh, that a little bit, and we need to head southwest, so I need to find the correct, um, uh, I think that's good, let's do that, whoa, there's a tower here, don't need to hit that tower, I hope we don't sideswipe the tower, I still hope we don't sideswipe it, oh, thank heavens, there's a baseball field down there, let's pause the game, now that, thank heavens, we're safely up in the air. Uh, so we need to head in this direction. Right? Let me just make sure, because... I'm just going to make sure on my little map here. Not a little map, but it's a map, anyhow. Uh... Yeah, right now we're headed too far to the south. We're headed, like, down too far. We need to head more farther to the west. So, I'm going to change heading to, I don't know, maybe that much. That seems good. I don't want to head directly west, because then we'll get on 81, and I don't want to be on 81. I want to get to the river. So... Uh, let's head in this direction. I think this is it's safe to say we should head in this direction. I don't want to get lost. We're in Lebanon, Pennsylvania. And we're headed toward Palmer. Oh, Hershey. Nice. We're flying toward Hershey, Pennsylvania.
I just can't tell where the river is. Does that look realistic enough of a direction? Uh, maybe we should go... Yeah, that's the river over there. We should just head west. And I want to encounter the river. We should be heading about 280 degrees west. Which is about that much. That'll straighten out eventually. Don't worry. And if it doesn't, we'll straighten it out. Oh yeah, here's the river here. But is this the right river? Uh, it isn't. It's, well, at least the river will take us to oh, figure it out. Yeah, this is the river. But it's the wrong one. But it's not, not the wrong one. This is the river. Except we're going in the wrong direction. We need to be headed south. Down this river. So, turn it around. Turn it around. So, Hershey, Pennsylvania. I don't know exactly where. Probably farther north, but we're near Hershey, Pennsylvania is all that you need to know. I'm not going to pass the Hershey Park, because if I have to get lost again, I'm not getting lost. Now we're heading in the wrong direction. Are you guys insane? Uh, which way? This is insane. I was like, which way? That way was toward Hershey, but I don't know where Hershey is. You know what? Forget it. I don't know where we're going, guys. I think this is the wrong way. It is the wrong way, guys. It's that way. Starting to become, starting to become a little bit, like, I don't know. Yeah, what happened? Yeah, we're a little farther south than Hershey, according to my map. So, you won't get anywhere near Hershey this trip. But whatever, this river is just going to lead into the Susquehanna, which is the river that we need to find. So we're just going to follow this river to the Susquehanna. <laughs> so after a giant mishap of trying to figure out which way to go. I think we're finally on the right track. But first, we better check the speed situation. 100 knots, not too bad. We might get fleet. Is this faster? Okay, hold on a second. I'm trying to figure out if this is the river. This totally is the river that we need to continue following. No other river. So let's just follow this one. Is it going to lead us to the Susquehanna, is all I need to figure out. It's going to lead us to the Susquehanna, but it's going to be a while before we get there. But not if we just keep flying over it like this. Yeah, I think over there, you see that, like cliff-like structure over there. Kind of looks like a depression. Right there. Right where the uh, cursor is pointing. Right at the cursor's point. Siri got activated again. So right where my cursor is pointing. The very point of the cursor. That's, I think, that's the Susquehanna. I hope we're going in the right direction. Yeah, we're headed southwest. It's the way we need to go. Sort of. But we more like need to go south. Never mind, that's not the Susquehanna. Because the river's going this way.
how I see it. You know what? I'm not going to follow this river. I'm going to head over there. Because that's definitely the Susquehanna. That's just going to probably lead this way and that way and that way. And just lead over there. Where we need to go this way. To get to US 15. Via Interstate 76. Trying to find civilization. So right now I just let go of the joystick. Let's see how long it is before I have to take a hold of it again. Ugh, the wind is carrying it that way, so I have to touch the joystick and shift the airplane a couple degrees this direction. Okay. By now, we've already traveled like 10 degrees. Now, let's see how long we can go. Hold on a second, not yet, not yet. Now, let's see how long we can go. There's an airfield over there. Is that capital city? No way. It's, it, is it on the other side of the uh, of the river? But it's not on this side of the Susquehanna. And it's by the interstate. And capital city is by the interstate too. Capital city just basically means the airport in Harrisburg, the capital of Pennsylvania. The water down there. Just wish they would have like a couple cars pass by on these roads every once in a while, but no cars at all because this is all low textured stuff. That must be Capital City. That just must be Capital City. I'm telling you. Right now, I'm not even holding on to the joystick. I'm just moving the mouse. But pretty, but I think pretty soon I'm gonna have to take a hold of the joystick. Remember, I've automatically put in some some five knot winds so that at least it's realistic. It's just some slight winds. Now we're headed into DC, which means we're going back to Lag World. Yeah, that's 76. I'm taking a hold of the joystick now. So that was probably a couple minutes that I went without using the joystick. Which is good. I bet people could do better than that. Cell tower. More cell towers. Jeez, how many cell towers do they have? One. There was one back there. Two. Three. Four. Five. No, those are trees. <laughs> and we re and we reunite with Interstate 70. We don't reunite. We 
never used 76 this series. We will now for the first time. And we're going to be on 76 for quite a while, but not as long as US 15. And yes, US 15 is a highway all the way, so we should get pretty lucky. And we're getting aboard, and we're over the highway. I'm going to take a quick dip down, and then I'm going to raise the nose again. I hope that didn't, like, completely. This is 76 Junction with 283. Interstate 283. So that's Harrisburg Airport farther down that way. And what bridge is this? Let's see. Yeah, obviously this is the Susquehanna River. I guess it's no bridge. I guess it's like, let me just pause the game. I guess it's just 90, like 95 and 80. They go over the Susquehanna without a specific bridge. I mean, it's a pretty small river. It's not like you're crossing the Hudson where there's a four mile bridge that goes over the Hudson at one point. But the Susquehanna, no big deal. We crossed over it just now in like 15 seconds. Whereas the Hudson, it could take up to a minute and a half to two minutes for us to cross. Even though we crossed in the George Washington Bridge in like 30 to 45 seconds. Forget exactly how long. See, let's make sure we pass by Capital City Airport, which is just after the turn. Yep, there's Capital City Airport. See the building? I'm not making a mistake this time. I hope. This is K... This is KCXY. Must be Capital City. Just must be. That's Susquehanna on the chart. Pretty far from the flight plan, but that's good. Because we're not really following it. We're traveling a little bit west. Let's see now, so. Now we're going to cross two junctions before we have to turn in. The first one is one with Interstate 83, which is an option, but it goes slightly out of the way. It goes a little bit too far to the east. And US 15 is apparently better. So here's the junction with Interstate 83. You could technically take Interstate 83, but... We're going to be taking US-15 today. You're probably wondering, do I have to memorize DC to get around it? Probably not. It's not too many highways through DC, and we're mostly traveling faster. See, look at the uh, exit ramps. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. This is the sharp curve. A little farther down, maybe that's it over there. I don't know. We'll come across US 15. It's not Interstate 15. Interstate 15 is by Las Vegas and Salt Lake City. It's like U.S. highways work backwards with the, um, where they should be plot. For example, U.S. 93 is in the west. Interstate 93 is in the east. There's no Interstate 1, but, inter but U.S. 1 is in the east. 
and it should be in the south. But it does go north to south, which is the confusing part. Yeah, US 95 too. Same with US 15. And same with US 7, which is in the east too. It's very close to where I live as well. And what else? Uh, US 13. Perfect example. That should be in the southeast. Something like that. But it isn't. It's in the, I mean, the southwest. It's in the southeast. Not southeast. It's actually in the northeast. Mid-Atlantic, to be exact. There's US 15 there. There's a cell tower or a radio station. I don't know what it is. I don't really care. It doesn't matter to me. I will probably never be here in the rest of my life unless I visit Harrisburg and then go from Harrisburg to D.C. Who knows, I might go this tra travel this world. I mean road, not world, road. Oh well, um, that's the exit ramp. We will follow. Is that really the ramp? It is. It is. So we're going to be taking US-15 down to Frederick, Virgin, no, f toward Frederick, Maryland. And then that's where things are going to get confusing. If we just continue straight, however, things will not get confusing and we'll continue on I-270, which will take us into the outskirts of D.C. Then we continue going straight and just before the Potomac, we will follow Interstate 495, over the Potomac, and down to Interstate 66, which is the second junction highway after the Potomac, and then we take that west, and eventually we'll reach Centerville. And that's how we're going to get to D.C. Let's not get lost as we did. I got lost in my own state, and I don't get lost. I haven't gotten lost once. Well, it did get lost back trying to figure out which, which way to the Susquehanna. But besides that, we haven't gotten lost at all. And for the past two, and the, for the past two episodes, I have not even... I've never been in this area of the country. Or at least I've been... In the sec, I've I've been on that entire spur of seven. I've been on the entirety of seventy eight in my life. I drove from seventy eight to two eighty seven once, and then once no, one time I drove from Interstate two eighty seven south and took Interstate seventy eight the entire way. And then one time I was coming off ninety five and I took seventy eight west from there and took two eighty seven south from there. So I've driven over the entirety of the 78. But I don't know the area very well. Like, I couldn't show you a town and tell you that's blank off the top of my mind without having to look at a map or something or having to backtrack 50 miles to the nearest city and then look at the map for the next 50 miles. So this is probably where we just have to follow the this is where we have to just follow the route this is where like us 15 it's goes over a bridge and the traffic will be, continue to flow but not just yet i don't know very well i'm just guessing most of this but i'm pretty sure that the traffic will continue to flow but for now we just have to deal with the fact that there's no traffic at the moment uh two yeah two tall trees. If we go over there, it'll be too tall of a tail to get out of. So we have to take a slight detour over the trees. Make sure we don't bottom s s swipe them. Bottom swipe them. A nice little scenic flight through the forest. I should look up which forest this is, because remember, I don't know this area, so I can't tell you which forest or whatever this is. <sighs> oh, 
We're traveling. We're actually just traveling through the, uh, We're actually just driving through the roads. We're not going to be traveling through any forests. This is just countryside. This isn't a forest. Looks like one, but it actually isn't. And it takes prime skill to get through these trees and not hit a single one. So, I need to focus. We are 700 feet above these trees, but these trees could be pretty tall. And in case one of them is too is taller than per spec than perceived, we can't fool around. But a nice flight through. It's gonna actually be a pretty. It's gonna. It's. I was gonna say pretty long time, but I'm gonna. Say, it's gonna be a while before we get there. It's not gonna be too much longer, but it's not gonna be like. Two seconds and bam, the traffic appears. Because we have to get to the countryside first. And just continue straight. Straight on. Forge ahead. What's that? What's that? Is that a bush? Is that a bush? It's a bush, folks. It's a bush. Also, I'm not trying to ask you about the videos to make you guys sad that you're not watching the videos. I'm only doing this to make to make you guys more glad to watch the videos. I don't want to be making videos that you guys don't like, but there are things that I have to do to make it enjoyable for both me and you. I can't just make it enjoyable for just you. Uh, game's lagging. Let me just pause quickly and make sure we're not going over speed. Because at a lag, we could be going... We could be going the speed of sound. Mac 1. And not low. But of course, this aircraft would, like, explode at, um, 750 miles an hour. Explode. Explode. It wouldn't just pressurize, it would explode, and the, the explosion would probably be felt for, I don't know, miles around. That's how weak this aircraft is. Now, a Concorde could travel Mach 1 and Mach 2. A Concorde could travel at speed. And it did for quite some time. Until expenses went up, riding went down, And that's the end of it. Hold on a second. I just need to mute the audio. Because I hear something. <laughs> eh, it's just something. I don't know what it is. I'll check it after I finish recording. I bet it's nothing too big. If it's something. If it is, if it was nothing, then... Yeah, just got a little worried there. But back to Flight Simulator X. Also, you guys want to know about Euro Truck Sim? I decided to not wing it. I decided to instead, I'm going to do Flight Sim today. On Tuesday, I'm probably going to do World of Subways. I'll show you a pretty short route. Edgeware Road to Hammersmith, or Hammersmith to Edgeware Road. Probably Hammersmith to Edgeware Road, but we'll see. It's a pretty interesting route. That's a bush. Too many bushes around here. Now we're just driving through some countryside. Uh, we're getting too low to the ground. 
better gain some altitude. don't want to risk letting go of the joystick now. Actually, I'll let go for a few seconds. See how far we get. But I don't want to risk letting go of the joystick for too long. Because I'm afraid if I let go of it for too long, something will happen. So I'm going to have to sadly retrieve it again. Even though it was doing pretty well. Because now we're encountering a slight turn. So I'm going to take very slightly. This is very, um, scenic countryside. It'd be more scenic in real life. Or an American truck simulator. Maybe they will add US-15 to your, I mean, to American truck simulator. But we will explore. They didn't add it into American Long Haul. They only added, um, US-13, US-95, US-93, US-101. Trying to think of any other US ones. US-25, or 22. That should be in the West, but it isn't. It's in the East. It's like... Think about interstate rules, so basically what happens with interstates is that they go up based on location or down the location. For example, for, for multiples of 10 interstates, the, lo the lowest number interstate will be in the south and the highest number interstate will be in the north. Interstate 10 is in the south and it goes cross country. US 20 to the south, but a little bit north of to Interstate 10. Same thing with Interstate 30 and Interstate 40. There's no such thing as Interstate 50 or 60. Interstate 70, farther north. Interstate 80, farther north. Interstate 90, the farthest north. And then for ones that end in 5, so Interstate 5, Interstate 35, those there is Interstate 5, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, and 95. And I'll tell you where they're located. Exactly. Interstate 5 is the Pacific Coast. It's not the Pacific Coast Highway, but it's the Pacific... But it's... I don't know if it's called this, but it's more like the Pacific Coast Interstate. And I just came up with that now. Because it's like the truck road, even though the Pacific Coast Highway is also a truck route. And yeah, it's all the way to the west. Interstate 15, farther east. Remember an American Truck Simulator? It goes from Barstow, and it goes through Las Vegas, and then it goes north. Then it goes north, and then it enters the state of Utah, and then it ends. I think in Idaho, or it ends in Utah. I'm not very sure. Then there's Interstate 25. I don't really know about it, except it's in... American Long Haul, and I think it goes through Great Falls, Montana. Interstate 35, it's by Des Moines. It's by where Odyssey of the Mine takes place in Ams. Um, and it goes all the way down to Texas. Interstate 45, I don't know much about. 55 goes by Chicago, Illinois. 
no way, it doesn't go by, doesn't just go by Chicago, it goes through it, too. Interstate 65, Forever an American Long Haul, the first episode, Interstate 60, of Ameri the very first episode of American Long Haul, they had, um, a sign for Indianapolis by I-65, and that's the way to go. Oh, we're headed south. Sorry, I was just making sure we were going the right way. Interstate 75. It goes from Michigan to Florida. It goes from... Actually, starts at the border of the U.S. and Canada. And it goes down to... Uh, what do you call it? It goes on the western coast of Florida. All the way it meets up in Miami. Not in Ameri not like in American Long Haul. In real life, 75 goes slightly to the southeast in real life, I think. I'm not sure. I don't live in Miami. Or in Florida, to be exact. I live on the opposite side of the country as Florida. Then there's Interstate 85. It goes around... I, all I know about Interstate 85 is that it goes around Atlanta. I don't know much more about it. And then there's Interstate 95, which goes from Maine to Florida. Holton, Maine. Right at the border of Canada and the U.S. And it goes all the way down to Florida, in Miami to be exact. And then it goes into, I think it's U.S. 1A, or Florida 1A, and it goes to Key West, I think. I'm not very sure. Don't live in Florida. Farthest up and down in Florida is Palm Beach. And then... And that's like a hundred miles from Miami. It's even farther from Key West. That's the farthest I've been, Palm Beach. And I was only there once. I was in Florida twice or three times. I'm not very sure how many times. Florida. I haven't been to Florida many times at all. The most I've been to, the, the state I've been to the most in my entire life is obviously Connecticut in New York State. But the most, that the state I've vacationed to the most is Massachusetts. And you're probably wondering, Massachusetts, that's not that far from Connecticut. And it isn't. It isn't, actually. Well, that's the place I've vacationed to the most. Utah have only been to, like, twice. I've been actually been there three times, but the first time, I was a toddler. I was, I was like, I was actually pretty young. Which is impressive, but I don't know what impressive it is to be. Well, I know what it is, but I don't know if that's considered impressive in your case. It might be, but who knows? Yeah, I was. I don't know how old I was, like 10 months? Pretty young. Yeah, and then the other two times. How about the most recent? And I vacationed in Massachusetts, I don't know, like four or five times, so that's a lot. But that's the state I vacationed in the most. I've got to say Massachusetts. Cape Cod twice. The Berkshires two or three times. And I did go to Boston one time, but that was only for an hour and a half. Yeah, when I was in Cape Cod, um, a year ago. It was an hour and a half to Boston, and then an hour and a half being in Boston. Not even an hour and a half, another hour and a half back. So you could say... We drove over too much. We drove over two times. As much as we were not. But yeah. Well, 
Oh, this is getting confusing. I'm trying to see what that was. That was... Once the road crosses over, um... We just... We just went right at the fork, so... There was a road over there. I'll show you to it. I'll show you it when we go this way, and then I'll show you it. I'll fire it. When that road... Hold on, let me just... When that road... When that road crosses... Hold on a second. When that road crosses directly over the... Over US-15, it means that the highway is not very far. Wow, it looks like it's happening now. It looks like the highway's in that far. That's good. <laughs> so I think it's gonna be around there, I don't know. Like, they're about there. This road crosses over, and the traffic will resume. But first, the texture of the highway has to go up a tiny bit. Due to the turn up ahead, I'm gonna fly over some of the scenery. Within the next few episodes, we will get to Atlanta, and that's only a trip south. We still have, we still have 2,000, 2,500, 3,000 miles west to travel, all the way from Georgia to California. We've got to go all that distance, which is going to be a feat, but obviously we're not going to drive it in one episode. We're not driving it in one episode. I mean, we're not flying it in one episode. If we flew it in one episode, it would take over 24 hours. So, yeah, we're not flying over 24 hours. So, it will take about, I don't know, a couple months, a couple months to get across. So, you see that the traffic has resumed, which is awesome, because it means that we're getting, does it mean we're getting close to D.C., or does it just mean that we've gotten out of the countryside? It just means we've gotten out of the countryside. Did that just say Gettysburg on my map? Did that just say Gettysburg? Yep, that sure did say Gettysburg. Yeah, so that means that currently we're in York Springs, and the next big city is going to be Gettysburg. So that's cool that we're going to go past Gettysburg. At least it's realistic that there are trucks on this route because US-15 and all that. And after Gettysburg, We will be in Maryland. Then we'll be hitting Frederick. Yeah, we'll know about. We'll, yeah, we won't know much about Gettysburg, but after Getty, but we'll know when we're past Gettysburg because the traffic's gonna disappear just after Gettysburg. Gettysburg is a pretty historical city. I zoomed into the I zoomed into my phone's map on into Gettysburg and it said Gettysburg College. Interesting, but whatever. Let's keep going.
a texture finally picked up on the highway. You know, we can actually land on that highway, but I'm not going to risk it in my Cessna at this speed, no way. In a glider, I would do it with no hesitation. My ultralight, I would do it. But in my Cessna, let's not. And act as if we did. We're already past Gettysburg. Wow, that was quick. Let me just make sure for a sec. Yeah, because after York Springs, you go past Gettysburg. Let me just make sure. Yeah, so we've just crossed into um, Maryland already. That's amazing already. So we've already gone past Gettysburg. That was quick. That was quick. By the time the highway meets, by the time the traffic starts picking up again, we will already be in Frederick. Let's see what time it is in the game. 4.55. Currently, it's not the time where I'm like where I'm like gaming, but and it's game time. Game time is separate than actual time. We're going past Emmitsburg, and then we'll be going through Thurmond. Then we'll hit Frederick. What time is it say we're gonna get to a, uh, what do you call it? 22 minutes. That's not bad, actually. 22 minutes. I've only been recording for about an hour. So 22 minutes. That's not bad. That's only an hour and a half long video. And that's my um, prom. That's my um, goal for each episode. So that's good. That's our clock. 76 degrees, for some reason it just keeps going down. It just keeps going down. Doesn't make any sense. Why does it keep going down? I mean, we're going into D.C. now. Should it be warmer in D.C.? Okay, well, we're not going into D.C. We're going to the outskirts of D.C. We're not even going to enter the District of Columbia. We're just going to, like travel across the Potomac. I just let go of the joystick for a couple seconds, but now I'm gonna... See what speed we're going at. Uh, 110, 105 knots. That's good. It's about 95 to 100 miles an hour. Good. It's faster than you should be going on an interstate highway. Even though we're flying over it. And plus, it's actually realistic to be flying over a highway because in real life, there are some areas of like of over highways where 
literally aircraft will just clock your speed and report it to the police and a nearby cop might be like oh yeah so th so there's a so there's a blue Chevrolet pickup that's going 90 miles an hour I'll pull it over and then he gets pulled over I'm guessing that's how it works I have never seen the process of that happening but I'm guessing that's how it'd be like it'd be there's a there's a blue Chevrolet pickup flying at 100 miles an hour and then a cop um, about two miles in front of the Chevrolet is ready to see it and then maybe a Chevrolet maybe a blue Chevrolet pickup will pass and he'll get pulled over but it should be like a blue Chevrolet pickup with a Connecticut plate 369 GTR I don't that's not that's not one of my parents plates that's not one of my parents plates my, one of my parents plates is totally different than that and with the blue Chevrolet pickup with that license plate is coming roaring down the stretch 90 miles an hour and it might be easier to track a Connecticut plate if you're in, say, Nevada. Because what are the odds of running into a Connecticut plate 2,700 miles away? We're already in Frederick. This is, like, insanity that we're already in Frederick. We just traveled like 50 miles in not even, we traveled like 25 miles in not even 5 minutes. Now as long as we continue straight, there should be nothing to worry about. Welcome to Frederick, Maryland. By the way, I did not plan to go by Gettysburg. I didn't even know that Gettysburg was on the way. I didn't even really notice that Hershey was along the way. We just spot these places, I just plan a route, and then we're like, oh, cool. Look at what city we're passing by, or something like that. I don't know, but it looks like we gotta pull up the map again, make sure we don't get lost. All right, straight at this intersection. Go make a right, otherwise we'll be going farther east than we should be. So just go straight. Straight at this intersection, and down Interstate 270. Now we're good for a while. We're good until DC. Let me just check the time out. Let me just check the time. <laughs> I'll make it easier for you to decipher what I just said. It's 5.02 p.m. game time. And real time, it's nearly 10 a.m. <laughs> for me, it's 10 a.m. In the game, it's 5 p.m. Five oh two to be exact. Now it's two seventy all the way to DC. As I've said three times already. As we stare at the entire flow of traffic down below. Thank heaven, thanking heavens that we didn't take the highway. Now, only the only um, the only pro, the only pro you get out of the uh, highway is that the only pro, the only good thing is you're on the ground. You have a completely different perspective. 
all the way up in the air, you might not be able to spot a scenic river like this, because you're only seeing directly into the horizon. You're not seeing the horizon from where you stand. You're only seeing the horizon from where you are, so... It's actually better to be on the ground. But if you're in, like, a commercial aircraft, and you're faced toward the east during sunrise or the west during sunset, it might be cool, but you never know what'll happen. What are all these weird dots in the middle of the highway? Too many buses on the road, and too many trucks. Okay, maybe not too many trucks, but too many buses. I mean, bus after bus after bus. I don't even know if there's a bus that goes from DC to Fredericksburg. Maybe a Greyhound bus? If there is a Greyhound terminal there, but Greyhound buses, they don't leave more than every hour. So. There isn't more than one bus an hour, so. Too many buses. At least they don't make it... At least they don't, like, proportion buses the same way as they proportion cars. I think what they do is that they... They proportion, like... The longer the vehicle is, the less advantage it has in appearing more frequently in the AI. So... If a bus is four times the distance of a, I mean, the four times the length of a car, it's gonna appear four times as less frequently. I don't know this for sure, but I'm just guessing. If a truck is three times the distance of a car, I mean, three times the length of a car, then it will appear three times less frequent than cars. Or what they probably do is they just give it a less advantage, and that's it. I don't think they base it off distance, or length of the car, why do I keep saying distance, or length of the vehicle is what I meant to say, I keep confusing myself, I do that pretty often actually, shoot, I hope we don't hit this tree, I so hope we don't hit this tree, I pray that we don't have to hit this tree, and praying worked, because we didn't hit the tree, Lucky survivors, us. Yeah, they can't, they definitely don't do it. They don't generate the traffic by distance. They more generate it by... It's more like trucks appear seven times as less frequent, and buses appear probably in... Eight times less frequent, or something like that. I don't know. Or maybe it's fifteen times less frequent, and six and seventeen times less frequent. Remember, cars rule the road. Trucks only rule the road because they're long. I mean, cars rule should rule the road, but they only rule like parkways and all that. Trucks only rule the road because they're bigger and less frequent. Buses rule the road only when they're there. If a bus is it's a, if a unless a coach bus comes around, that's basically it. Trucks only rule the road because they're bigger and larger. And I actually don't agree with bigger and larger have the advantage. It's kind of like because bigger and larger do not have the advantage. They actually have disadvantages and advantages. And there's a very good example of that if you play Agario or Slytheria. In Agario. It exists, the gate in Agario, I'll give it to you in big ways. You have cells, and the way you eat other cells is, 
Whoa, I'm bigger than your cell, so I'm gonna chomp down in your cell. And then you chomp down that guy's cell. If you're, if you're, if that cell isn't, isn't smart enough to outsmart you and end up in someone else's cell who's bigger than you, and then you gotta run away, and then they try to eat you, and then they might end up eating you if they send out a huge mass, but they can only send out a huge mass of themselves if they are more than double this, if they are more than double the size of your cell. Because what's the point in doing, um, in, um, What's the point in... Hold on a second. What is the point in... Bursting out half your mass... In your cell, if... Of your cell, if... The guy is less... Is, if the guy is... If you are more than half... If he, if he isn't more than half your size. If he's only three... If he's three quarters your size... He's big, more than a half the size, so you're going. So he's gonna eat up that half of the cell, and then he'll be bigger than that, and then he'll be bigger than you, and then you'll get eaten by him. And that's what you have to think about, which is why I more prefer Slitherio because Slitherio, it's not about I'm bigger than you, so I get you for my dinner or something like that. Slitherio is more like, it's more like. I'm faster than you, so I can use my fast, I can use my fast moving superpower and blaze past you. Or something like that. Let me just check out the, uh, time we have left. Twelve minutes. Not bad. Not bad. Shoot. I don't think, I think we should check the nearest, no! Nearest airport list. Let's just pause. Flying M Farms. We're going to VA sixteen. Needwood Farm. Needwood Farm. Needwood Farm. No offense to people in D.C. about that. I just gotta check out the other ones. Centerville, there it is. Uh, hold on a second. I'm not actually gonna go toward Fairfax because Centerville is directly west from us. So I'll save us a little time and go west now. I think it'll be smart to do so. And we're landing in six. I mean, there's 66 degree winds, right? So we should land in runway six. Right over there is, um, what do you call it, um, that's Ronald Reagan Airport over there. It's not an international airport, even though people think it is. The actual international airport is Washington Dulles, which I think, let me check it out of the, uh, oh, never mind, we're on the frequency. I'll check it already. Oh, IAD. So that's right here. But we're just gonna land in VA-16. Alright, guys. And then we'll head west on Interstate 66. Head over to either Winchester or Staunton, Virginia. Well, I'm still going to figure this out. Now, I'm going to try speeding up a little bit because I just want to get there. 
I'm not going to speed up too much if I can't, but as much as I possibly can, we're going to speed up. <laughs> but people do think that Reagan National is the international, but in New York, LaGuardia is the national airport, even though it goes into Canada. And John F. Kennedy International. And surprisingly, John F. Kennedy International is in New York. Now, John F. Kennedy was born in Cape Cod. So, it should be... So, instead of Boston Logan International, it should be... John F. Kennedy should be there. But, I don't know why they did it that way. I guess there was something else they wanted to name... Boston after I don't know what I don't know what the Logan in Boston Logan is but whatever I think I might have to Ugh, it's too late I can't even like I don't know uh, change the frequency or something like that automatic direction finder if I go to, I don't know, 284.5, something like that, or 285, it's, I don't want to fool around with this, because I don't know, I could change to a total other frequency. I'm on 122.9 or 0, so you need to really change this. And I can't really change it, actually. Oh, I am changing it, oh my god. Stand by, but am I still here? So you'll get to see Washington Dulles. We're currently flying over the... This isn't the Potomac, is it? There's no way this is the Potomac. We're too close to, uh, D.C., but it looks like it is Potomac. It's the Potomac River. That was the Potomac back there. And in case you missed it, I'll do a flyby. That's our aircraft there. I'll show you it in the quick second. There it is, there it is. You missed it. No! Now the game's gonna crash! Hurry up! Now the game's gonna crash! I accidentally clicked the wrong, clicked the wrong button and I ended up by a 747. So let's pray that the game doesn't crash because of that. That was a per that's a pretty small stream. How did we get twenty five hundred feet? Didn't know DC was that um high ele highly elevated. High elevated. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not arguing. We'll get a nice view of, um, Dulles now. I was thinking about landing in Dulles, but when I found out about Centerville, I thought, let's just land there. So that highway there is... Virginia 28. That's Virginia 267. And 
now that we're passing over Virginia 28, it means that now we have successfully trespassed, and yes, I meant trespassed, into Dulles International. But not until after we cross the highway. I need to see runway for VA-16, runway 6. I just need to find the airfield. It looks like it's over there. Now that we've crossed over the highway, we have now successfully trespassed into Dulles. As I've said again, uh, now... I hope no one's taking off out of this airport. I hope everyone in Dulles knows that this is a Cessna from out of state and that I don't know my way around. So I don't like I don't memorize flight plans, and they'll understand. I hope. What runway is that? I'm trying to see what runway it is. It's runway one right. It literally just says one right. Oh my god! We're getting so close to a De Havilland dash. Oh my god. <laughs> and he's actually over here. But he's actually over there. And I need to keep descending. VA. It's that thing there. Alrighty, well, there's no point in really, like, worrying about that stuff. It's time for some flaps. To slow this race down. And to slow the landing down. 16, runway 6. Which way are we traveling anyhow? Maybe it'll help us figure out which way is the right. Okay, so currently we are traveling west, and we need to land east. So what we need to do is we're going to do a flyby over Centreville. Keep the runway in mind. And I'm going to... I'm going to quickly turn off the engine. I'm not turning it off. But I meant, like, nearly stall it, and then... No. No. I need to just quickly maybe stall it. I don't know. And I'm going to just quickly drop down. I've told all my I've told all my passengers in back to hold on to their hats because this is going to be an extreme landing. I need to do it again. Now it looks like this is a really extreme thing, but it's actually nothing. Compared to other landings that experienced pilots unlike me maneuvering speed is a hundred five knots true airspeed calibration so this is probably gonna divert our view to very far right and it sure did but it actually did over there. Now really, I have no passengers inside the aircraft, but 
You know how to think. It's time to lower. Nah. Oh, hold on a second. Pause. What does the knee board say about landing? Maneuvering speed is 105. Stalling angle of climb. Best rate of climb over sea level. Best glide speed, 68 knots. So currently we're going like 70, so... We'll go about that speed. That seems about good. No. We shall now turn this aircraft around. Hold on a second. Pause, 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 pause. Okay, keep, keep, keep going. Are we better now? This direction. Oh shoot, pause, pause the game, pause the game, pause the game, oh forget it, it's gonna pause. It wouldn't pause because I was already trying to change it, so. Uh, we'll just land it. Never mind, I know what we have to do, so this is going to be a little bit crazy, but we're going to do it. We're going to make a wide left, and then I'm going to lower the throttle a little bit. It said best glide 68 knots, but I think we can go a bit slower than that. Can't we, people? All right, guys. The extreme landings with Sipakari's PC Simulation Channel. We have plenty of grass to land on. There's, uh, shoot, I hate that. Doing that. Okay, we landed safely. And we actually landed pretty not good. Pause the game. Before we... Yeah, so I don't know what's wrong with the aircraft. It just... I landed perfectly fine, but it didn't land. So... I don't know what to do. Will you just stop watching and rewind what I said? To make it look real. I don't know what's wrong with the aircraft. I just don't know what happened to it. Oh well, let's just act as if everything's alright. We'll turn off the engine, guys. Okay. We'll turn off beacon, landing, taxi, strobe. We have that, so. Flaps are going up. Avionics. And master switches are off. And we'll act as if we were parking or landing for the next few minutes and then, you know. I'll just switch views and have a tiny little fun. Oh! Better. And let's pretend right now we're pulling over and braking. I'll just do it. Okay. So 
So now that should be all. So in the next episode, we'll try not to be too crazy. But next episode, we'll probably follow Interstate Interstate 66, not US 66, that doesn't exist anymore, Interstate 66, toward Winchester and Staunton, Virginia. After Staunton, we go to Atlanta, and I don't know, I'm going to probably have to find an airport in between Winchester and Staunton, or something like that, I'm not so sure yet. I'm doing World of Su I'm probably going to be doing World of Subway, so I have a few days to figure out what I'm going to do. But otherwise, besides that landing, that horrible landing, I don't know why, because on my tablet flight, because on the flight simulator on my tablet, I land better than a bird. But, I don't know, maybe I have to fix some weight problems with the aircraft, because if something's in the wrong position in the aircraft it can cause I don't know you to land funny like me and thank heavens I paused the game but let me just pretend to do my thing now we can't request a field truck obviously so we're gonna have to survive and plus it'll be a refueled aircraft when we spawn it again and that's it so thank you we'll resume at the same time except with the stopwatch so if we would have landed safely, we would have paused about now. So that was 2 minutes 59 seconds. So I'm going to record a 17, 28, 10. Hold on a second. Um, 17, 28, no, 29, 10. Yeah, because 17, 8, because 27, 28 would be 2 minutes anyway. So, yeah, so that's good. Now I want to watch the plane crash. Anyhow, I want to check out the analysis of the flight. I haven't done this ever, so it'll be interesting. So time compression, let's do 8. It's going to, no, let's do 64 so that an hour is only in, nah, let's do 24, let's do 32, an hour will be in a couple minutes, in, in a couple minutes, Ugh. 64, let's just do that, never mind, let's wait until the aircraft, let's, Yeah, CS over there. That was Fredericksburg, as you can tell. That would have continued. Yeah, that was supposed to. That would be 270, but we decided to get that was us just like crazily ascending, but whatever. Um, but thanks for watching this video. And in the next video, we will fly. We will not fly. We will. Probably do World of Subways, and then Thursday will be another flying video. And then hopefully by the weekend, I can figure out to work Steam, and then we can do OMSI. Um, but we'll see. But as soon as I end the flight, I'm, I'm going to end the video if I can. So thanks for being with me. Uh, hopefully. They, and please comment about what's wrong with the video, if there is anything wrong with the video. And I will see you in a, in a day, in two days.